This is the Flick 2. It is the successor to the Flick 1, which was a button you could press once and make something happen. <laughs> Double tap it and make something else happen, or hold it down and make something entirely different happen. Um, I loved the Flick one. This is apparently the perfected version of it, but before I show it you, I have to show you a little snippet of their official advert. This is real. This actually happened. Was that? It can't have been. It was! Apparently, this lady has programmed up her flick so that when you double tap it, condoms fall from the ceiling. Presumably, from a net that she hung there. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant! But worse than that, she's also programmed the button up so that if you hold it down, it makes coffee. Why not? So when she gets up in the morning to get ready to go to work and she's all bleary eyed and still tired and half asleep and instead of getting her coffee fix, she accidentally double taps the- Condoms! Everywhere! Condoms everywhere! Absolutely ridiculous! And yet, for some reason, not a single person, cast or crew, during the production or after the production said, don't do that. That's not good for marketing, that's preposterous. Not a single person. So, um, basically, this is the best wireless button on the market at the moment. I don't think it's the cheapest. I think that accolade still goes to the Logitech Pop. I think. I can't remember, so I'm going to write it here if that is or is not the case. Uh, this is, however, the most reliable button on the market by all accounts, um, and it's the easiest to use. The setup process for this software has just been absolutely phenomenally easy. I took this thing and this thing out of its packaging, loaded up the app, and the app went, huh, there are some things. I don't... I don't even have to do anything anymore. It seems like this is becoming like an industry standard, the Amazon Echo does it now, and so apparently does Flick. Kind of makes tutorials a little bit redundant. Not redundant. So, uh, yeah. Setup process is not really a setup process at all, it just works. To show you just how ludicrously easy the setup process is for one of these things, I'm going to connect this flick button to this Lithex light on camera. I'm going to do it in under a minute. Definitely going to do it in under a minute. I haven't done one of these challenges for a while, so this should be fun. Um, so, start the clock. I'm going to click Add Flick to Hub. I'm going to hold this button down. Holding this button down puts it into pairing mode, and when it's paired, it should. Tell me it's connecting, which it is. So the button is now connecting to the hub. The button is connected. What is my name? Your name is Lifex because you are a Lifex controlling button. I'm gonna press done, press finish. Press the Lifex button. I can now choose click, double click or hold. I wanna be a single click. My single click is gonna load a Lifex thing. I'm gonna add the bulb, reload the bulbs, instantaneous, found my door frame, click the door frame, I want it to toggle, keep the same color, save action, press the button, off. Press the button, on! I flipping love this thing! Flipping love it! In case it's not obvious, you can set these things up to control multiple things off the back of one click, or multiple things off the back of a double click, or multiple different things off the back of holding it down. Uh, the opportunities here are pretty much endless. You can put as many things into this list as you like, as far as I can tell. Um, so in the last 10 minutes, that's all it took me. I connected my flick to Lifex. I connected it to Philips Hue. Um, and I connected it via If This Then That to control my Smart Life bulb, which is at the back of the room. Here-ish. There. Uh, so let's test that theory out now. I'm going to press one button. I got Lifex, I got Philips Hue, I got Smart Life. And that, through If This Then That over the internet, was super quick. Honestly. Super quick. So what do you actually get for your money? 
Well, about 600 plugs, just in case you live everywhere in the world. Um, but aside from the 600 plugs, you also get the shortest USB cable ever made, which is super annoying. Um, you're gonna replace this immediately with one that'll actually reach your wall, um, and then, yeah, that's what you're getting. 600 plugs on a short USB cable. In all seriousness, it depends on what it is you plan to purchase. You can actually buy one button on its own, connect that to your mobile phone, and then when you press the button, your mobile phone sends the request to Philips Hue, or to If This Then That, or whatever it is you want to control. The only problem with that is, as soon as you leave the house with your mobile phone, the button doesn't work anymore. And at that point, your missus hates you because she can no longer rain down condoms from the ceiling. So... <laughs> So you want to buy the hub as well, in my opinion, so you'll get some buttons and the hub, and the hub acts in place of the phone, and then the hub sends the requests to Philips Hue, and if this then that, and whatever else. The other thing you can get for the hub is this little plug-in thing, and it's an infrared blaster. And what you can use the infrared blaster for is to switch on, say, your TV, or your set-top box, or your amplifier, or all of those things. And therefore, you could have a button that when you pressed it, it dimmed your Philips Hue lights down, uh, and then switched on your projector, which would be brilliant. The number of integrations that Flick has is pretty much endless. But here are some of the highlights. Uh, Apple HomeKit, which is amazing. Uh, Philips Hue. Uh, LifeX, or LifeX, before anyone complains in the comments I've pronounced it wrong. I don't care. Uh, it can control Android devices to the point of the ridiculous. It can make my phone make fart sounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh god. Uh, but more importantly, as a consequence of that route into Android, you've also got a route into Tasker. If you don't know what Tasker is, look that up. Uh, here is a full list of things it can control natively, but once you reach the bottom of that list, that's not it. Because it also has a connection into if this then that. And because almost every device on the whole planet connects to if this then that, this thing can control practically any device on the whole of the planet. So why bother with this thing when you could just talk to She That Should Not Be Named, or Google Home, or your missus and get her to do it? Um, that's sexist, don't do that. Um, the reason is, you don't always want to use your voice, sometimes it's not appropriate. Um, my missus will sleep next to me at night time, that's a normal thing to do, and I don't want to wake her up by speaking to She That Should Not Be Named, and so I have one of these by my bed, and it switches off the whole house. Uh, it switches off all of the Philips Hue lights. <laughs> don't ever buy Philips Hue. Uh, it switches off my Liflex stuff. It switches off plug sockets that have got lamps connected to them. It switches off everything you could possibly imagine. Um, I have one by my studio lights, which are lighting me up right now. Um, is that this one or this one? Is that one. Um, because I just, I don't want to have to speak all the time. Sometimes I just want to be lit up. I want to walk over to my camera, press the record button, and then press this little button so that my lights will come on. They're connected to plug sockets. I'm sure you can think of a million reasons. These are entirely waterproof, too. I don't know how, but they are. Um, and you can stick them to your bathroom wall while you're in the shower and press it and make stuff happen. These are... Flipping genius. I, I'm trying to find the right word that isn't a swear word, but honestly, I love them that much it's difficult to find the words to describe them. Can I please control routines so that I can be the perfect device? No, because we're Amazon and we hate everybody else. Ugh. What? Stop judging me. That's perfectly normal behaviour. Um, so that is my only real complaint, is this thing cannot trigger this thing's routines. If it could, how awesome would that be? Um, I don't know if that's in the pipeline. I suspect Amazon don't want that to happen, and therefore it probably never will. Um, but I could be wrong. I'd like to be proven wrong. If I'm wrong, it's in the comments section somewhere, because people love to tell me I'm wrong. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. Uh, if you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding the bell. 
If you ding the bell, it will ensure you get notified as and when I upload stuff. Um, you can be one of these amazing people here at Patreon. These are the guys that keep these videos happening, and they are my favourite people in the universe. Um, you can do that at either Patreon, or you can buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will love you forever. Uh, this is my social medias, all the Facebooks and the Twitters and Instagrams. Let's hang out. Come and do that, please, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And your missus hates you, because you can no longer use the button to do any... <laughs> to, tr to rain condoms down from the ceiling. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna use that. Like some kind of weird lunatic sex clown. What the hell is this about? Because it meant I could control random things. R random. <laughs> the things that it can control, can control, can, 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 can